Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to go over the AMD i3 scripts and the other um, tutorials about uh, Budgie, so Arch Merged Budgie. I saw that I went into detail about how to learn, learn how to script and use GitHub. So I leave you to check if you want to know that. I'll, that's your tutorial to check out. Um, but let's instead in i3 go into detailed uh, scripting here. So let's take a look what's in there. So in 100 display manager, nothing happens when I click it and frustrate stupid system. What is this? No, we have here along here buttons here. Before I forget, uh, in the last tutorial, we ended up with an, uh, a space up here and a space down there. And the only thing we had to do is keep it to full screen, control F, full screen, reboot, and then it figures out, okay, I can use these banners up there and down there as well. That was all. So, good, thank you, VirtualBox, everything works. Now, there's, that's, that's something you should decide. First off, we see here an application going open. It's Genie. Hmm. You like Genie, you hate Genie, I don't know. Anyway, other tutorial, other uh, script here. Oh wait, sorry. Let's first get my screen key back running. So, all trash. Don't like that. Boom. Mm -hmm. I do that. Last. So all trash. Well, that's okay. Now, double clicking this gives me genie. Open with gives me not suitable. Sublime text. Okay. Atom. Mm -hmm. Mouse pad. All right. Why not? So you have to choose which thing you like best. I like this one um, for in previous years when coming to Arch Labs, I used this one. I liked it as well, learned to use it, but I also like Atom. And anyway, you decide what you use as default and then there we go. Now, nothing happens, stupid system, what's happening? Aha, again, this two is becoming red, meaning all the text editors, everything in here will go on page or uh, workspace two. And that's what's happening actually. So let's close that up. So, and why do I like Atom? Well, I'm a design guy. Look at these colors. It's nice, isn't it? So anyway, we have this information here about the folder. We see AMD i3. So we actually, we clicked on one thing and Atom opens everything. Sometimes it, I, it does take a little bit longer to open everything, but sometimes um, that's quite neat. And sometimes we don't want that. So with the right mouse click, you decide what you take. So, um, right, so this echo thing, echo, well, should I start with this? Um, anything with an SH is understood by the system that it's a shell command that then that it's gonna run a program. Let's let's say it's an application, yeah. And everything then then you should tell the system, okay, use the bash, the shell, use bin bash or zsh or anything. But mostly it's just uh, this line there. And if you if you come across a problem, so if there's an error somewhere, stop with the script. So that shows us, oh, I should say change something because there's a typo or anything or an application that's um, not working anymore. Everything is possible, so stop when something happens. And all this is just jibber jabber. So everything with a hashtag doesn't matter. Well, this hashtag is specific. So the shebang or something it's called, doesn't matter. It's that line and that's okay. Then the echo. The echo is the things you want to say to people. If you run the script, and I want you to tell you that if it feels like the downloads are too slow, stop the installation with Ctrl C, run the alias mirror in the terminal. So this is text that you'll be supplying to yourself to others. And here start the command. So rather than typing them in a terminal, which I do like this, so let, you know, typing like something like this, that's fine, that's all good. But you have to type it over and over and over again. After every installation, you have to do this again. What if you could type this 
commands in a file and that's basically what a script is you put commands that you normally type in a terminal in a file and they, they you run them one by one okay so scripting doesn't sound that difficult and it is not that difficult it's just a file with a name dot sh with a line up here and maybe if you want to that as well some text and then you start your commands what's this thing back there well i'm not a genius in scripting but what i do is i ask the manual of pacman and i read finding out and finding isos like arch labs and arch merch is all about reading <laughs> trial trial error trial again and finally succeeding and then keeping off and <laughs> don't touch it again it works but somewhere in here is the no confirm and the needed so i don't know if i was actually talking so i wasn't reading but in here we'll find uh, the no confirm and the no reading meaning that you can um, skip it no confirm will say will say yes all the time yes and this one is a neat one if it's already installed it just skips it so from time to time you install things and you say um was i installing did i install that already or or not and when it's already installed it just skips so we don't have any um, time we don't lose time with reinstalling stuff so that's a good one so this is yes oh with all the time and this if it's already installed skip it we decided to install LightDM, and LightDM cannot live without the other one. Uh, um, we could go and look that up. Arch Wiki, I do not invent these things. And it's always a good thing to show you guys that here is the way or the place to be. It says LightDM, you probably want to install a greeter, so the reference one is this one. It's not a nice one. It's actually a not so nice one, but it doesn't matter uh, because in i3, you want to go to the desktop. Uh, you can auto login through LightDM and then it's okay. Um, what else? So I don't need to explain this to you again, but you see here it's in the end and here it's in front. So it doesn't really matter where you put it in um, up here or down there. It's okay. The same applies. And here is the more difficult bit. Maybe if you watched uh, my scripting. First off, again, I'm not a scripting guru. Everything started with this line here. That's what it started with. Install me via Yaourt or via Packer or via Packer install. A package what package this is a variable this is uh, something a, a tray where you put something in and you label it package well you label it this one that's the label i3 caps next kit so i say that's a tray and the tray name is package and put this in the tray and then you ask give me the contents of the tray here so that's a variable oh okay fine so all this says here is install which is the s we have to look maybe we have to look that up so man here are words and then we have to as is actually synchronized or something if i remember correct of was it pacman what they say s is synchronized or install scrolling 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 here we find the no confirm already so i don't have to look for that here sync they call it sync well it's installing stuff so we're syncing packages from the aor to our machine all right so we're installing stuff without confirmation coming from a variable that's up here that's what we do and then we made it more and more complex what does it do if pacman minus q i package uh, if that exists if the q min i what's that man pacman 
what's q q is query okay look 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 for what scroll down scroll down scroll down query minus i info okay let's let's try that so sudo pacman minus q i q i firefox We got a lot, a lot of information about this package. It's installed. It's a standalone web browser, and so on. So what you're doing here is saying, okay, if the Pacman exists, if that's true, put all the output. This is the output of this command. Put it to something that's called def null. So it's it's down the, down the toilet. It's down. Uh, it's 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 gone. It's not used. But if you find something, if that's true, then you say to the people, okay, the package is already installed. And you skip everything. That's a good thing. So if, oh, control Z. Oh, I closed it, that's it. So if the package exists, puts first of all this output into the rubbish bin or something like that. And that's how you can remember it device null void the black hole gone then print everything out look um, it's already installed else it's not installed meaning then we're gonna check if the yaourt is installed if on this system yaourt is installed then we are gonna install it I'm gonna use yaourt if by mistake or by choice you say I'm gonna delete yaourt I don't want it then it's gonna take a car, if you delete that one, it's gonna take bigger. I decided in a few weeks ago to go to Yaourt rather than Packer because I noticed that Packer is not so clean in installing software. So it's going to use TMP, the folder slash TMP, but it had leftovers, so I didn't want that. So this is the folder dot um, slash TMP. Things are in here. And um, he uh, was filling it up and I had problems with my TMP because it was filling up with uh, data and then you don't have it anymore, you have problems. So, two yaourt for standard installation package and that's why it's up here as first one. So, you'll never get in here normally. And then last one, just checking if installation was successful. This, this is quite handy for yourself, nobody sees this. Uh, the echo is to tell to people, and this is just for yourself. If Pacman package, if that package up there exists, then you say the package has been installed. And if he can't, if Pacman can't find this, it can't reproduce any, it doesn't have any information on the package, ah, then it's not installed. Then you say the package has not been installed. So that's the whole story about that way of working. Um, it's just a safeguard. This is actually a safeguard. If that's not installed, it's going to use that one, although else that one. All right. Last thing here, enabling services. You definitely need to read about system HTML. So I don't know if I can just... System CTL, if that works. System D, great. Redirect from system CTL, great. So you need to read this. You need to find out these are services that you can start and stop and restart and stuff like that. So it's quite important to be aware that you can start light the N service, so the, the light the N manager. And we need to do it with a force, so forced because of the rest, the residue on the arch merged. ISO. So we overwrite it, whatever's on the, that place is going to be overwritten with this one. So we're going to enable it. And next time you reboot, you start it. So you could type sudo system ctl start lightm service, but after reboot, that goes uh, that's automatically. And one last thing we have to do is go from a graphical, uh, go from a terminal environment to a graphical environment because i3 is, is, is graphical and that's the last thing we do and i leave this one in 
because we remove anything you do not like after the installed applications. For instance, in Budgie, I remove the GNOME backgrounds, which uh, are all too well known and, and not uh, nice anymore because we've seen it too much. So you can put things in there to just get rid of it uh, again. All right. Um, that's number one. It's going to be a long tutorial. Number two, move i3 folder to config folder. So on skipping things you already know, echo is something you know already. If the directory, uh, if the, the directory in your home and your home is echo home. So it's an, a variable, an environment, another thing you should know, env. If you type env, you find all the environments uh, variable that is in the system, like I told him to, that editor is nano, that we don't have issues with Vim and VI and all that. that nano is much more simple to use. Um, probably get a lot of comments from the VI um, guys because they're really um, enthusiastic and I do need, I do teach uh, VI, but it's um, for a beginner a bit too difficult. Um, what else? So if the directory home, that's the home, that's um, our Eric, if the .config folder i3 exists, yeah, then do nothing. But else, that's this one, else, if it does not exist, then you make it. So there is a possibility to tell, like so, where is my key? This, if it exists, then you do that. But if it does not exist, then you do. And that's what we said here. So if the folder home eric.config slash i3 does not exist, then you make it. That's what this says. It's a very handy thing to have around. Okay, so we created a folder and then we can copy everything recursively so folders and everything inside it and f is just to be a safe site for zip and everything that's in this um, directory which is this one here is going to be copied over to the new folder that we've just created here and that's what this line does this is the heart of i3 that's important to know this if you don't run this too bad no i3 well, you get an i3, but that will be not <laughs> a themed and a tweet i3 at all. Sound. Quick uh, to go over, I guess, since it's all Pac-Man minus S things. The only thing you should, I should tell you, if I could tell you, is to take a look at the wiki. Again, sound system. All right. Um, probably this one. Yeah. So... I went over all and read all these things and said, okay, so we need this one and we need that one and so on. And then decided to put everything in here. And that's what's there. Bluetooth is the same way, but let's have a look. Yeah, okay. So here again, we have this Bluetooth, this system CTL, the system control system. Uh, we need to definitely know something about that, it seems, because there it is again, it's a service. Of course, you need to have this little dongle or a Bluetooth uh, device on your system, otherwise it will never, ever work. Okay. Um, anything else I should say here? I don't think so. Everything else is still the same. Pin bash, set pin minus E. And this is something special for if you have a Bluetooth uh, like mine, then you should change to A2D2 if needed. Install printers. Um, yeah, did I find this myself? Did I know? Uh, no, do I know this by heart? Of course not. You go to the Bluetooth because in phase four, we will make an Arch Linux installation ourselves from scratch. We'll reuse all these scripts, but they come from here. Install the blues and the Bluetooth package and enable the enable. This is what I do. Enable 
let's go here show you that's what this means but nobody tells you to write this down like this but this is this then start the bluetooth server system the unit you can enable it to start automatically this line is the same as that line and then this is then the start uh, option but it's not needed once you reboot it will be started automatically the printers same way let's keep at it let's see if i can find it like so okay printers cup so we need to know the word is actually cups install the cups package and voila there you go cups cups pdf and all the things that i install and again enable a service that the cups uh, is started immediately in looking for printers samba samba is um information yeah it's a bit specific let's get, kill this one so <clears throat> samba is a lot of uh, servers as well that's what you see already we're installing the samba where is it coming from like so all the information is in here install the samba package and the samba is configured with blah, blah, blah. we get etc 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 what do we find here copy paste of the wiki get me the latest samba configuration file and put it here where it's supposed to be that's what we do that's the minus o the output where do i put where do i put my download and this is my download that one where do i put it then i enable all the services that we read and then we do a little bit of uh, scripting i ask my user read minus p i don't know what the p was again what is your login it will be used to add this user to smb and that's the choice so anything he types is gonna be this variable the choice so give me or make me a user add the user eric and then it's going to ask the passwords and uh, two times and then you have a new user samba user named eric with password eric and gone installed and some packages again to make our lives easier you know how this works now um what i wanted to say i wanted to say something now uh, the minus p so if you want to figure it out you type man read and you see again what is this minus p he talks about i don't know i forgot and i don't even know and i don't see it any in here so I might have found it on the internet somewhere i don't see it either might be scrolling over it it will be a google thing We'll have to google it so bye bye next one again these services do seem to be important so the network discovery if you want to have um, let's see if we can try with the network what i'll do Ta -da -ta -da. no that's a little bit too vague And that's the one install the avahi package i don't know what it stands for how to pronounce it but um that's what i did and then you can manage the daemon so that again enabling the service and that's what i did here as well like i said in previously start not necessary but it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt as well so then i start try to categorize things i hope i well it's, it's not a perfect system i know but i started from xfce i looked at the applications that are in there and these are the things that are in the accessories and these are the things that's in development application i don't have any games i don't have any and on graphics and and so on and so on so it's just a long list of applications we want to have the only thing that's important for you to know is that these are the standard arch linux repo uh, 
things. Let's quickly show you something. What is standard? This is going to be a really long um, tutorial, but I think a very useful one. So bear with me. Bear with me is better, Eric. Oops, I'm in device, I see now. So you go to etc, typing.conf. What do I mean with um, the standard ones? So in the Pac-Man, you have the place what you're downloading. You're downloading from the community, from Multilib, and Archmars Linux is our own, but from the extra and the core. So these things are all the standard Arch um, repositories or closets or warehouses or information directories or application directories better. So these are, that's what I mean with Arch Linux repo. Okay, so the things you can install with Pacman, basically. Then the next one is the AUR, things I cannot install with Pacman, what I need to install with, again, a script we you in the FC now, and I use uh, Yahoo instead of uh, Pacaro or Packer, but it's a script, a script that is going to point to a directory. Let's open just one, now it doesn't matter which one. And again, this has been explained already, so, install me a variable package is a variable and the package itself is brackets bin and use yahoot to do it and all the rest will be skipped and so on you seen that let's not let's not make it longer than it needs to be okay that's gone that's gone where were we here so everything will be installed everything that's in here will be installed you don't like any something you don't uh, you don't want to install something, do it like this. You see another program that you want to have, ah, then you do a copy paste from one of those. And all you have to do, no, not one of that. All you have to do is change this package name. So you go to Yahoo or Packer and you say, ah, it's, it's named Spotify. Okay, so all you have to do is change this word and, and change the title here to Kerber, core bird to Spotify and you've made your own script. Yeah? Reuse, don't be stupid. Reuse. Um, what else? So the 300, nothing else here to see, except this one should be lost always. This is the icons that never change. So if um, there are a few programmers still there, out there engineers that make uh, the wrong mistake to hard code their icons, and this program fixes that. Then ZSH is something very specific if you want to have a different kind of bash. So the terminal, control T, this is bash. But if you want to have um, a different one, then you can, I believe you can ask like so. Voila. So it's also a variable. So we're using bin bash at the moment, but you can use another one, and which is called uh, ZSH. ZSH is available on your machine and you can run it if you want to and that's it 400 is what we call distro uh, specific things um, there are things like that a render the awesome terminal fonts is for one of the toolbars down here Compton is for all these uh, graphical effects we have shadow um, the sliding uh, shadow here uh, the transparency um, Stuff like that. So a nice, beautiful way to show things. D menu is super shift D. This is our D menu. We just start Firefox like so, and it's gonna pop up on workspace one. There it is. Okay, um, what else? Well, is it interesting to go over the every detail? Probably not. So these are the things that are used to make i3 more complete. We need Alex, Alex appearance to set our themes and icons and all that. Nitrogen for the wallpapers and stuff. Okay. Then the AOR that's specific for um, for this desktop environment, i3. We have installed i3 blocks, which is quite nice. And well, there you go. And we have XFCE slim lock. If we want to lock our system and go away, nobody can enter without knowing our password. And that's that. That's installed as well. 
and then the microcode error is uh, on our github it's on our um, archmatch.info it's on our forums it's the work we have now for the moment that you see some someone some people have it other people don't depending on your hardware you see this line firmware bug and so on but if you run this it's gone all right i think we should conclude the movie otherwise it gets too long this and that one is explained in other tutorials online so i hope it's not too long i hope it was interesting enough for you and um, do reuse my scripts please do that's the whole idea it's a skeleton we provide you just delete or not do not install the printers do not install the samba and so on just install what you need and have fun do not forget that all right cheers